the round table. Gentlemen, Aye. let's broaden our minds. Lay on, gentlemen, and let them know what's what. Fire at will. Yeah. It's time for action, gentlemen. Gentlemen of the round table. What's the topic of discussion? Civility, gentlemen. Always civility. Um, are we ready to go, Marcus? Yeah, yeah. All right, well, Jackie, I think you're praying today. All right, all right. I'm praying <laughs> for the party bus. Uh-oh. I went on a fucking party bus last night, fucking Jesus Christ, and it was the best thing you ever created. Man, it can take you anywhere. You can dance wherever you want to go. Mm-hmm. You can have a manservant, which we did, and his oh. name was Patrick. Wow. And I think <laughs> that every woman should have a party bus. No men should ever be allowed inside the party bus, but they can grovel outside of the party bus. They can stare into the party bus and be like, choose me, choose me. But we're never going to choose uh, So thank you, God, for the fucking party bus, because it's the fucking raddest thing ever. Amen. Amen, Amen indeed. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Did Patrick get his dick sucked? Nah, man. I think Patrick <laughs> might have been a fag or so. He may he have been. Was, so. he was, what does that even mean? Well, he was a fashion designer from Brussels. Uh, you know. Uh, yeah. He was very big, and he lifted me up. He must have been very, <laughs> very, 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 very big. big. Go fuck yourself. Whoa, so, you whoa. break every cherry sit in. Whoa! <laughs> Let's not bring chairs into this. Uh-huh. Let's not bring chairs into this. All right, welcome to the round table of gentlemen, everybody. Who is everybody? We know Jackie's here. I'm here by name, ass. <laughs> Who is Ed- everybody else around this sort of bizarrely shaped round table? <laughs> I'm Ed Larson. Holden McNeely, and I'm happy as a clam. Yeah. Disgusting and sad. <laughs> Sitting in for Kevin Barr, and we got Ari Shafir. Thank you for being here. Hi, no problem. And uh, then, of course, I am Ben Kissel. Marcus, let's just get to some news stories, buddy. Yeah. All right. James Palmieri, 59, was suffering from severe diarrhea March 10th in his apartment he shared at 473 Pleasant View Avenue in Syracuse. Been there with- so far. <laughs> <laughs> he was sharing it with David Utt, 62. Ooh, great name. Yeah, David yeah. Utt. <laughs> Utt said in a written statement, I asked him to use the bathroom fan so it wouldn't smell up the house. Thanks for the sympathy, Palmieri said, according to Utt. It's common courtesy, Ut replied. Palmieri then vowed to, quote, crap all over the house, the bathroom, and my car. (laughs) (laughs) Palmieri got into his pajama bottoms, then went outside. You have to be comfortable. Otherwise, he was naked, running around the house with shit everywhere? (laughs) Ut was suspicious because Palmieri doesn't smoke. During the night, Mm. Ut discovered Palmieri had defecated, quote, all over the floor in the bathroom and in the hallway near the bathroom. Wow. He clearly did this deliberately. <laughs> I love that he's, he has the same retaliation tactics as a cat. Yeah. Just shit everywhere. The next morning, Ut opened the door to his 1997 Lincoln and saw, quote, that Palmieri had, in fact, mm-hmm. defecated over the back seat of his car on the leather seats. Oh. Oh. Not in the car, the man. the leather seats. <laughs> How much shit was in this man? So yeah, much right. shit. Well, Ut had to drive the feces-laden car because he had to get to a doctor's appointment that morning. It's when like he the other got, guy got... needed to get to a doctor's appointment. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> when he got home, he gave Palmieri five minutes to start cleaning it all up. Palmieri asked... How does it feel to be shit on? I love then, it. Then Palmieri great, punched him in the face. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he was going to say shitty. Because that was how, that's probably how it feel. Uh, ben, you shat on the hood of a car, correct? I've shat on a, uh, a hood of a car. I've shat in a mailbox and a whole bunch of different uh, places to really get back at those aristocrats in Stevens Point, Wisconsin, making 50 G a year with their family sedans. <laughs> how do you get up? I, I, all right, so were you holding like uh, your. He's uh, 10 feet tall. He just puts his ass over uh, the hood. Oh, okay, car. right. Yeah, man. Yeah. I haven't shat in a toilet in a decade. Um, <laughs> no, it's great. I love this. Driving Miss Driving Miss Feces, I feel like would be the name uh, of the story. So he has he has he has a bunch of crap in the back of his car and he was in such a rush he couldn't just sweep that out of there with a little TP or something. It was diarrhea. Diarrhea. It's probably soupy. And this yeah. is all just because the guy said, hey, turn the fan on after yeah. you shit. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, he is not asking that dude to turn the fan on again. Honestly, I really find Doesn't no that much. Like, disturbance with the logic of this story. I feel like mm-hmm. everyone's like, oh yeah, no, I'd say that, I'd do that. Oh, no, 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 yeah, no, he was right for doing that. Mm-hmm. Oh, I feel like both of them were completely fine. So you think, who was more right, this Palomari character or Ut? Which, by the way, it sounds like his great-great-great-great-grandfather just, like, died on his deathbed. They're like, what's your name? And he's like, Henry Ut. And they're like, hey, I guess he's Ut. <laughs> they're just, that's what the Ut family formed. It's they not a full-ass name. 
Yeah, either that or you got punched in the stomach at Staten Island or uh, fucking Ellis Island. Oh, oh yeah, that's possible. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now you're thinking of the Utz family, which is a very successful chip family. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah and yeah. pretzels. One of the leading chip families in America. Indeed, <laughs> that's what we're talking about. Yeah. I mean, this is a fine retaliation to have against a roommate. Holden, we've lived together for about five years. I'm sure there's been moments in your life where you wanted to defecate all over my. Oh, bedroom. I can't wait till we all move out of that place, and then you find all the hidden poo poos. <laughs> <laughs> I believe they're, they're placed in various parts of your room. That's yeah, a, good. <laughs> I'm excited to find them out. Uh, That's the thing. That's why your room smells like fucking shit. No, it's because his dick smells bad. Ah. Yeah. I'm going to blame it on your poo-poos. I've actually, I've actually been telling girls that for decades, or for a couple of months now. What, what five years? That it's like, I <laughs> don't smell bad. all different answers. Times, yes. <laughs> I understand, but I'm just telling you. My was, excuse for my room smelling bad is that you poop in all my corners. When yeah. I was a kid and I worked at Dairy Queen, I went shit in the urinal to piss off my boss, make him clean it up. And did it work out for you? Yeah, it worked out oh, great. How did you do it? I just hovered over the urinal, shit in it, and then uh, I told him I went out there. I was like, hey, uh, Ron, uh, someone uh, shit in the urinal. <laughs> yeah, how do you know? <laughs> well, I just shat in it, actually. <laughs> did you hover? Did your ass touch the urinal? Maybe, yeah. you know, but you know, it's small price to pay. Yeah, That's yeah. Fine. <laughs> Maybe means yes in this scenario, by the way. Maybe means yes. Casualty of war. I was hammered. <laughs> <laughs> working, you were working well hammered? Dairy Queen. Oh, I'm I was sorry. 18 so... years old working at Dairy Queen. Of course I was hammered. Did okay. you pee on the floor a little bit? Because you know how you always pee a little bit? I'm sure I did. <laughs> Not the floor, my shoes. <laughs> Ari, have you ever had a roommate situation that was so bad that uh, fecal matter was involved or anything like that? No, I've shit on people's cars before, but... Nice, you're what a classy man. This, this is the bond. Man, I want to do I mean, it. Yeah. It's a great time. It's great. <laughs> yeah, you really should. It's freeing. Did you do it in retaliation or you just do it for fuck's sake? I was helping a friend retaliate. Oh, so that's actually, fun. I shit, I shit in a bag and then he used a bag in the top of a box like a spackle. See, that's yeah. much oh, more nice. sanitary than yeah. Ben's way, I yeah. think. Oh, civil. it's still shit. Oh, that was a civil shitty? <laughs> yeah, it was. Ari's a classy dumper? Here's, yeah. Here's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there were accessories Please. involved. Please. That's accessories ridiculous. makes it classy. You I'll and trade you one bag of shit for your grape poop palm. Mm. <laughs> I'll take it. I love it. Classy. Well, Palmieri told in a told police in a phone interview that he didn't want to give his version of the story or return to the scene, adding that he has diarrhea. Ah, oh, he okay. had a massive amount of diarrhea. So the one guy said, "Okay, so guy A, Palmieri, Palmieri, he's got a shit. He's the one with diarrhea. Yep. Okay, and then he had the shit, and then I told him, "Hey, turn the fan on. That's it. Yep." And then Palmieri <laughs> just shit man. all over everything. Right. Everything. Yeah. yeah. The hall, the bathroom, and the hallway outside the bathroom and oh. in the back seat of his car yeah. on the leather seats. You think he crab walked as he was shitting? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you would have to. Huh. Do you think he ate like a bunch of laxatives? Like, oh yeah, now I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him hard. I'm gonna get his car. I'm gonna get the hallway. Get his towels. What's the uh, What's that thing in Donnie Darko represent? The the beam that comes out. Uh, uh, timeline. Timeline. I feel like this is like a reverse timeline. We know exactly where he went. And it's like that's his soul just like driving him. Just like his shit. Like he had no control over that. It was predetermined. And you gotta remember, these. this is a 59-year-old and a 62-year-old man living together. Sad. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So every time two old men... Have you guys ever heard of Raymond and Peter, Shut Up, Little Man? Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anytime two old men live together, things always get weird and uncivil. Yeah. Absolutely. They should be dead. Yeah. yeah. I made I mean, a movie about it. Grumpy Old Men. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. It. It's a documentary. And the sequel. <laughs> I, I forgot about the huge shit scene where Walter Matthau just dumps all over uh, <laughs> lemon shit. <laughs> dumps all over his car and his couch and things. <laughs> in his back seat. I mean, didn't you know he did put a fish in his car, though? Ah, that's true. Ah, revenge. What smells worse, an old fish or a piece of diarrhea shit? I put fish in some guy's car once. You did do that? Yeah, yeah, What yeah, was yeah. the revenge for? What did he do to you? How did he wrong you? Uh, he took Tim Dean's girlfriend. So I put fish in his car. Really? Yeah. Isn't that... That was a very nice thing you did for a friend. Yeah, it's my boy. You know what? Fuck it. Yeah. Was she an attractive gal? Oh, yeah. She's real hot. Big tits. Real hot. Big tits. (laughs) So they were making out in the car, and it just smelled like fish, and he probably broke up with her because he thought her pussy stank. Uh, no, I think she dumped him because he was a pussy. He brought his dad to my house uh-huh. to, like, you know, confront me or whatever afterwards. His fa- How old was he? Oh, man. We were 17 or, like, oh, you know, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, he brought he his dad that. to my house to confront me. And, of course, I just denied it. And then my mom right. fucking shoot him off. It was hilarious. Really That's nice. crazy. She's like, she's like, what kind of man are you bringing? You know, it's, it was great. That's ridiculous. <laughs> 
You know you have a uh, pussy uh, son if he's 17 and he, mm, Dad, come down. I think somebody put fish in my buddy's car, yeah. my, in my car. Let's go find him. It's like you got to tell your son to go take care of that on his own. Yeah. You know, regardless of if he's the biggest, fattest baby ever born in Florida, <laughs> the one and only Ed Larson. My buddy took a baseball bat from him and beat him with it one time. Yes. Oh, yeah. Right. That was <laughs> that was <laughs> so what was wow. the, I feel like you guys might have actually been very mean to this guy. <laughs> no, uh, no, 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 at this no, point. No, what, no, what, no. Why did he get beat with a baseball bat? Well, he was he swung it at him, so he took it and oh, I see. hit him with it. Very nice. It wasn't brutal. It wasn't in the face or anything. No, yeah. It was just tomfoolery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a couple oh, swaps yeah, to the back. Yeah, so this Ut guy got off real. He, he got off relatively <laughs> scot free. <laughs> it's not so shabby. <laughs> You ever take a bat to somebody, Ari? No. <laughs> you, ever, you ever hit someone with a club? Something like that? A bowling ball? My brother walked behind me once when I was swinging a bat, and I smashed him in the face. That's pretty cool. Counts. Uh, <laughs> definitely counts. I felt but, bad, but it was full steam, like backwards, though. Yeah. Oh. No, it's great, though, when you actually have those accidental situations where you got away with hitting your uh, brother yeah. in the head with a bat. Yeah, it's kind of fun. In the face with a bat, but I was a go- I was a catcher, and the I was making fun of the girl at bat, and so she quote unquote <laughs> accidentally what? swung back, and and I had just taken off the mask because I was making fun of her, and she couldn't hear me well enough. So I <laughs> off the mask, uh-huh. And I was making fun of her, and she swung back, and she uh-huh. fucking bashed me in the face with it. So I completely deserved it, but right. Fuck that bitch, right? I, I, totally. <laughs> totally. How does that feel when you get hit in the face with a bat? It hurts a lot. Yeah, just a yeah. bunch, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I broke my nose. Oh. See, I, I mean, I got hit with many things, but I'd always cover myself with a firm layer of padding before I'd leave the house all <laughs> <laughs> grade 6 to 12. Still to this day, you have to yeah. shed your skin out front. Definitely, oh. yeah, yeah. Because they had to uh, reduce my vocal cords. I used to be like, this loud everywhere I went, yeah. you know, yeah. until, uh, yeah, I got the operation. By the <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, hanging out with our, our, our friend Justin Tyler, who's a longtime listener of the show, and Holden McNeely. I want to say I'm sorry, Jackie, because you used to be Justin's favorite, and now it's uh, now it's what? you, Holden, for oh, those I... for those antics. So you're you're crushing it. Yay, oh, wow. fun boy wow. day! Falling out of first. <laughs> you're it's fucking I'm sorry, Justin. Oh, I'm gonna go to your house and hit you with a bat. What? Oh, you what? Right, right? You threaten them until you like the. Me yeah. like Justin. Yeah. Me like uh, cake and pie. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Justin likes a mommy fucker. So what's happening? That's a, Holden likes to fuck his mother. That's just a, fine, which is normal. Yeah, totally normal. Uh, so yeah. what's happening with this Ut character? I mean, what sort of crime did he commit? Well, uh, Ut was the uh, person who got shat okay. on. Okay, Palmieri has being is being charged with second degree harassment and fourth degree criminal mischief. Oh come Wait, on! Wait, who punched who? And then Palmieri punched Ut. Yeah, Palmieri is the one. He is, has all the aggression in this so, story. Uh, so Ut was like, "Fine, you shit in my car. I'll just go to sleep." Yeah, he said you. Uh, well, Ut He's told him you have five minutes to clean all this up. I mean, that's he not enough like, time. No, no, it's like the Ut couple. He just sounds like he's fucking pussy annoying. Please yeah, he deserves to get hit. He deserved to get shit on. I mean, I'm sure they're still living together. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. Yeah, this is a minor thing. I can't believe this is actually news. What roommate has not said, "Pick up your shit." Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Not, I mean, they didn't mean it literally. Yeah. Like the shit in the living room, the shit yeah. in my car. Well, how much is going on in Syracuse, New York? Nothing, man. Yeah. It's fucking you know. horrible. It's next to Buffalo. Yeah. That's the best thing they got. Oh, it's got to be some bad Thai food uh, in there. To, uh, in there, though, to give that guy the runs like he had. I mean, what a nice moment to have the runs. If you're super pissed off at your roommate, you have a bathroom situation. You could really actually use it as a weapon. Rarely do you have projectiles coming out of your asshole like that. Wasn't the basketball coach fucking a bunch of kids or something? Yeah, too? yeah, no, it would turn out to be a lie. Oh, it was a no, lie? it was yeah. a copycat, yeah. They ah. had to fire him. Bruce Fine. Oh, this was after Sandusky? Yeah, and J- Beheim was like, you're fucking wrong. I'm not going to fire this guy. Show me some proof. And then uh, and then he eventually had to cave and fire him because uh, the pressure was so big. And then it came out. The guy was like, yeah, yeah, I was making it up. I saw the Sandusky thing. There's fucking uh. nothing. That's how little there is to do in Syracuse. You just call people <laughs> child molesters. And, you know, that's and the- then have a blast about it. He's fun. the biggest victim in that Sandusky scandal, isn't yeah. he? He lost his job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> sad. So sad. I don't like it. He'll get the job back. Uh, any, anything else going on with this story? No, we can move on to another story in Bosnia. Ooh, oh, sure. sure. I don't think All we've right. been to Bosnia yeah. before. No, I never, never would go. We spent a lot of time in Poland, but never in Bosnia. Yeah, nice to be inside of you, Bosnia. Uh, it's where the uh, douchebag was invented. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Didn't really? I know that? Absolutely. Mm, yeah. Thank you. Uh-huh. I think Jackie's quickly becoming Justin's favorite. Mm, again. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. A 48-year-old shepherd from the village of Verba in the southeast of Bosnia strangled a brown bear barehanded what? after the wild animal attacked him. Wow. Love it. That's fucking amazing. It's incredible. That's awesome. This man's a superhero. <laughs> yeah. 
Blazo Gurkovic was tending wow. a flock of sheep on a meadow in Voljak when the bear assaulted him. The shepherd had a small axe with him, but had no chance of using it. Grovnik told journalists, At one moment the bear grasped my hand, and I choked it by the throat with the other hand until one the animal fell down. Hand. <laughs> wow. <laughs> one hand. Un yeah, how many times has this guy been mistaken for a bear himself? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> is there a picture of the guy, Marcus? There is not. Damn it. But after the vicious encounter with the animal, the bleeding shepherd managed to cover a distance of several miles along a mountainous path before calling an ambulance. He is a stronger human being than we could ever imagine, seen or being. See, when they heard he choked him out, I thought he like he did like a headlock with the with the elbow around. Sure, the some you yeah, know, something too, normal. Got behind him, he just got in front of him. The yeah. bear didn't just slash with him. One, oh the bear God. has his hand. He has one hand for he grabs it by the jugular and takes it down to the yeah. ground. Well, That's be, unbelievable. Probably, like, closes windpipe, right? Yeah, just, like grab like right in the middle. But, but the bear, bear is fucking mouth and claws. Yeah, just, go, yeah. Arr, just like stab yeah. at it. Yeah, yeah the, uh, the dude, dude was diagnosed huge. with multiple injuries to his hands, legs, and head caused by the bear's jaws and paws. Oh and my. the guy was hospitalized for over a week. Wow. So he got hurt. He did get hurt. Okay, God. that makes it better. That it makes does, it better. Yeah. Did Thank he God, steal the nice. bear's hand? Does he wear it around his <laughs> uh, necklace? He should. Definitely. He ate its heart to gain its power. He should have skinned it at least. Wear yeah. its skin and be like, I conquered this. Take Absolutely. His eyes. Someone needs to get this man that bear skin. Yeah. Yeah. This is fucking amazing. I watched The uh, Edge last night. Okay. Where they, I uh, you know, love The Edge. Anthony, Anthony Hopkins. Hopkins. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where he, uh, where he puts the, gives the deadfall on the bear. Yeah. So puts good. up the spear and wedges it in a rock and the bear falls on him as a horrible death. Bart the bear, great bear actor. Yeah, Bart, the bear. Bart the bear. <laughs> yeah. Rip Bart the bear. What other movies was he in? Um, um, great Outdoors. Great Outdoors. Oh, wow. The bald eyed bear. Yeah, yeah. Really? Bart the bear. He was the bear and the bear. Yeah, really? Marcus, really can we get though, the Wikipedia on yeah, Bart the bear? Was dead? Yeah, here's what he was. He was in. In no, he died in 2000. But not oh. from that. That fucking scene. No, 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 not from the scene. Not okay. from the scene. I'm just he died out. many times yeah. in movies. Yeah. Apparently, just died in Bosnia as well. He got too cocky. I don't know. He uh, was in The Bear, of course. He was in Legends of the Fall. Whoa. Oh, my God. Oh, my and God. That, that's a great bear. That's a great. He's a yeah. great bear actor. He's an he's amazing awesome. bear actor. Uh, he appeared uh, in the 70th Academy Awards as a part of a salute to animal actors. Wow. Whoa. Of course Bart. he did. He's most credits. Mm -hmm. I mean, the credits. salute to animal actors, did they have the audience, uh, was the audience a bunch of other animals and a bunch of bizarre things like that? I mean, I'd go. Yeah, well, You course. wouldn't go? I would immediately go. That's a hot go. ticket. Oh, I saw that dog. Love <laughs> <laughs> that dog. Like. Oh, he died yeah. of cancer while filming a television documentary about himself. Oh, oh that's the oh, saddest oh, actor story I've ever heard. And they put it out? Yeah, Brad Pitt uh, provided the narration. Oh, oh and Brad Pitt was in him with Le in Legends, Legends of the, of the Fall. Fall. Right. He's worked with yeah. John Candy, Dan Aykroyd, Daryl Hannah, Great. Annette Benning, Ethan Hawke, Steven Seagal, Gregory Peck, Tichaye Cario, Don't know who that is. is. Alec Baldwin and Anthony Hopkins and wow. Brad Pitt. Wow. wow. This is amazing. Oh, yeah. That's such a easy and a great career. Does this get cancer now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I well, guess. Bart the well, bear. he smoked. He was yeah, smoking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was the bear. <laughs> and his other na his namesake, Little Bart the Bear, was just recently in the Game of Thrones episode, The Bear and the Maiden yeah, Fair. Yeah, I saw Whoa. that episode. All right. Yeah, How so was he? He was, he was great. He was amazing. Yeah, he did a good job, like Father Like Son, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He really, I mean, he, you know, he didn't get his prey, but the, he did pretty good. Okay, good, yeah. good. The bear from, uh, whatchamacallit, from uh, Semi-Pro ended up being a murderer. Killed his uh, trainer right after the movie. Really? Sort of an O.J. Simpson type bear. Well, you know, he didn't have a wife that cheated on him, and then he bur went crazy he's, he's and killed bear, though, her and a waiter, him. you know? Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. Little Bart the bear, he appeared in Dr. Doolittle 2 along okay. with his sister, Honey Bump Bear. Oh, oh Honey Bump name. Bear. Great name. Can yeah. you win an Oscar if you're a bear? No. no. you get nominated? No, absolutely not. Mm, okay. I kind of want to make a Monique joke about Precious and that, but I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah, we need to we need to uh, honor these uh, these animal actors more. You Absolutely, know? especially a big bear. That's a tough animal to train to act. Acting he was a also in a Labatt's Blue commercial. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, so he's a beer bear. I've had Labatt's. Ooh. <laughs> Canadian beer. Do you feel like Bart the Bear helped you uh, to convince you to drink Labatt's that evening? Maybe. I don't think I saw that commercial. Nah, it probably wasn't that anything to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> Just there.
Can I get the beer the bear drinks? Can I please? Mm, yes. <laughs> the, the, the bar, he's like, you have to leave this bar, sir. We should all start doing that, just quoting commercials. And like, can I have the, ba- the beer that the whatever character in a yeah. commercial drinks? Just talking frogs. Yeah. Fucking talk about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just asked for that. Talking frog beer! <laughs> talking frog. I fr- saw no. them doing it. No, I, that's not the one. <laughs> Bring me another. There was uh, some black guys would say what's up to each other, but they would do it funny. What were they drinking? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Marcus. What's another story, buddy? All right. The owners of Brisbane's only registered swingers club say they are being forced to close after a complaint about disabled access. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that sounds like that was a the decision they made a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> Should we worry about a ramp? Fuck no! We don't want any cripples. <laughs> Uh, the blacks uh, aren't allowed in here, but they, they didn't say anything about that. God. <laughs> oh, they're wait. in there. They're working. I, know, I just wait, decided to make my opinion voice. It's in Australia. Oh, yeah, there's no uh, blacks in there. Yeah, yeah they're right. <laughs> there's there's no, aborigines. Oh, yeah, they're dark. Oh, yeah, they're very a dark people. There's also uh, kangaroos oh, in there, yeah. Yeah. Brisbane City Council has ordered <laughs> Brian and Lisa Horn to shut Couples International in Wulungaba by June 26th. The couple say their customers are distraught, and the move will push Brisbane swingers scene into seedy underground hotels no, can't and suburban that. homes. You can't have that. Exactly. And here's what they say. We got single ladies that are crying. I mean, we're talking a 20-year-old single lady just crying here the other night because she's got nowhere to go that feels safe anymore. See, I what, I don't understand. Why is she crying there, then? Sorry. I was like, yeah, it just seems like an advertisement for a pimp. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I just, I feel like, why not build the ramp and have a disabled theme night, you know? I mean, you're going to get, like, all those freaky wheelchair people. Well, in. he but said the club had hosted club, right? several guests in wheelchair, wheelchairs before without problems. He said they came quite a few times, actually. I'm Ooh, sure they came more double oh. entendres. <laughs> they just got those in Australia. Double entendres. <laughs> <laughs> It's a swingers club, not yeah. a strip club. A swingers yeah. club. So you can't really be disabled and swing. You oh, can't. Of course you I mean, can. how would you do that? You get strapped do you into do a swing. it in the parking yeah. lot? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You yeah. can just very literally. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Huh. Just tie him to a rope. You got a pussy, okay. right? That shit works. <laughs> <laughs> Turn over, little halfling. <laughs> <laughs> I swing so with no so. arms or legs. <laughs> Now, Marcus, you've had experience at swingers clubs. Yeah. Did you uh, see any disabled people or not at all? You None a of that. Disabled person? Anyone here? No, 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 not I, I, uh, physically. I had uh, sex with a mother once. Okay, okay. yeah, that's yay, the same. Yay, yay. Yeah, I had sex with a girl with a severe eczema. Oh, oh right, fun. we've talked about that snake woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kojak, uh, reptile woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. It's kind of fun. Cool. Yeah. Sure. So you had sex with. <laughs> you, had sex, you had sex with a mother. Yeah. And how was that experience for you? That was pretty good. Were you young, young? Were you like high school or something? I mean, we really get into the details no. for Holden here. He <laughs> really wants to hear about this. Just some woman that was a mom. A couple oh, of okay. different moms. Oh. And the kids are around. And, uh, no, and the no, rooms are, no. They're uh, nowhere divorced. near it. Nowhere near it. <laughs> Ever like the mother of a friend? No, nothing like that. Just some lady who had a kid once. No. Oh, like normal. Yeah. Like, she did get a stripper. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> like some freaky whore, right? Just like some crazy, crazy was, whore mother. How was the mother sex? I feel like, I mean, when they get the chance to just let loose and not just forget that they're a mother, they must be amazing in bed. Yeah, they fuck you and nurture you at the same time. Hell oh, yeah, that's incredible. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. Oh man, that would be great. Just having like a grilled cheese sandwich, like already there, like right, right yeah. after you come. Oh. I guess so. But it's still hot. <laughs> yeah. Do they leave? Like when you exit, do they give you like a lunch pail? I'm just they like, tell me to make my bed. That's good. That's hot. Bed before you go, yeah. There's breakfast waiting. It's not the best though. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. With a glass of her own milk, you know, yeah. it's going to be questionable. <laughs> I mean, you know, you bring up a good point though with that milk. I was with one gal with the lactation lactation of the of the breast. Have you had that? No. Holy lord! Uh, the really? female milk is get absolutely it, get phenomenal. It. Get it? Get it? It's sweet. It's it's soft. Was it's this tender. recently? No, this was when I was in college. Yeah, so mm. I was about twenty uh, seven years old. Uh. Um, no, so you 21. would go suck on her milk? Yeah, sucked it out of her. No, I mean it would just come out because you know the baby was doing it, and you know I was just on uh, all up in, uh, on that. Straight from the boob. Oh, straight from the teat. It was just—I mean—you wow. didn't actually like squirt it into your mouth, but the teat 
is just sweet and it's wonderful. Really, really good tasting stuff. Hell yeah! I gotta say, I was disappointed when I found out women's breasts weren't more like bean bags. Mm-hmm. There was just, like little balls in there. I wish I could put a bunch of little bugs in there and they could just crawl around. And I, I could, hate like, that fill idea. In. <laughs> right, <laughs> Jackie, your breasts aren't full of bugs. Not anymore. That's good. <laughs> yeah, thanks to new creams. Yeah. You did. Roscoe the flea dog came and smelled your breasts. And he yeah, and then a bunch he of licked them hard and he <laughs> licked all the fleas <laughs> off of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. That happens. <laughs> How many mothers have you fucked already? I think maybe just two. Okay, there was one a long, long time ago. I've had, I've, I've done it with girls that want to be mothers but never had the opportunity. That's every girl. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's kind of uh, scary, though. <laughs> oh yeah, that's kind of fun. <laughs> that's the worst. That's I'll say this: the the couple that owns the swingers club, they have five children. Okay, yeah, but they're also sixty two and forty eight. Sixty two and forty eight. Wow. Mm-hmm. Old kids. No. They still get down. <laughs> so the kids live on premises? Yeah, Is that allowed? Yeah. I guess it's Australia. It don't matter. But it does matter that they don't have a fucking ramp for the wheelchairs. Why don't you just lift them up the stairs? Yeah, yeah right? I, I like that. I heard Chai saying, like, are you going to push us under the underground? Which, first of all, if you're already there. But second of all, <laughs> um, just fucking get a ramp. Yeah, it's not their fault. Well, they yeah. tried to make the changes, but they uh, burned down. They were too busy wood. fucking everybody. Yeah. They couldn't, <laughs> they couldn't, they couldn't get a building the permit uh, for the oh. ramp. Yeah. So why is it getting shut down? Because they don't have the ramp. But they couldn't get the building permit for the ramp. Exactly. I feel like they wanted this sex club shut down. Yeah. I am just so sick of uh, Australia pretending yeah. they have laws. Yeah. Right. You know, exactly. it's the Outback. I've seen the commercials for Outback Steakhouse. No rules. Just, Just right. right. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that to an onion. <laughs> That's insanity. So now this uh, now this wonderful place where people used to go and get laid is now being shut down forever. Why can't they just put up a small ramp? I don't know. They said uh, they can't get the building permit, and they said the order to close the club had pushed them to the brink of financial ruin. They've run this place for 10 years. Very Is there sad. anything in there about no one wants to fuck a cripple? I don't I mean, think that's so. The, but that is the truth, though, <laughs> yeah, right? That's I mean, that's yeah, that's why you don't yeah. put the ramp People are there. into it. There's a fetish for everything. Yeah, people are into sure that. Yeah, but not in this guy's house. Do. Most yeah. of the time, that cripple lady's going to sit there by herself just waiting for someone yeah. to come in. Yeah, it's a sad thing to watch. I think it's fine. They don't want fucking cripples in there. Yeah. 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 I'm railing on some chick. I don't want to look over her shoulder and see a fucking sad woman in see, a wheelchair. See, I do. A nice big Vietnam vet. That's what I want. In the corner of my room, fucking wave an American flag. I'm going to see like a Native American crying. like done there, boy. <laughs> so, <laughs> does anyone know any girls in uh, in wheelchairs? Because, you know, if you're a dude in a wheelchair, yeah. your dick doesn't work, right? Uh, not necessarily. Yeah, oh, not so it could? Yeah, it depends not, where you got cut off. You just might not yeah. be able to it feel could. it, too. Like, it could work, right. but it's just not this... You just don't feel it. Well, well, you're you're asking if a wet? woman's pussy works, so it gets yeah. wet and yeah. stuff, and she feels it. Yeah, yeah, yeah it gets right? wet. Yeah, yeah, if your legs get blown off, you can still get hard. Yeah. Like, Lieutenant Dan was fucking that chick, right? Yeah, it's a movie, though. Hardcore, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was yeah. the director's cut of that movie? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. It was gross. <laughs> Boris Glump. <laughs> <laughs> Glumping all over her chest. Yeah. Oh, that's what I want to do. Every time glump I come on a chick now- from now on, I'm going to be like, I'm going to glump all over you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, she'll stay wet. She'll oh, she's go dry it. as a fucking desert. I'm going to take a dump and give you the glump. Yeah. That's what I say to my lady. <laughs> she kept saying like, harder. Ooh, hold it. I can't wait. Ooh, my pussy's going to fucking fly off. Me. What was that, Ari? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, glump all over you. All right. <laughs> Next story. A man whose wife bit him on the genitals after an argument after a rodeo says his only regret is calling 911 on her. Anthony Hill is still healing and says he's standing by his wife, Christina Salinas. Hill said Sunday was supposed to be a fun night out at the Penn Valley Rodeo. He (laughs) says the argument followed a series of stressful events in their lives, including the fact that Salinas' ex-husband now lives with him. Hill wanted to... Yeah. Oh, All right. Hold on, Eddie. What do you think about that situation? You're dating a chick. Her ex comes in to live with you. How is that conversation I mean, going? if I'm the guy fucking her, then I think it's hilarious. So you like it. You're yeah, okay yeah, with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're a like, friend. You're like, yeah. and he's letting me stay at your house? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so you got no problem with it. Yeah, no, no. It's like showing off. Do you fuck her extra loud? Do you glump on her extra hard? Absolutely. Get, save up the glump. The glump you make when she's not around, you, you save it and you give it to her later, right in front oh. of her. Wait, you're not worried that she's <laughs> fucking the ex? What? You're not worried that she's boning the ex? Oh, I never thought about that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just chain her down Definitely when you leave the house. house. You think so? Yeah. Yeah, what, yeah, of course. He's so sad for staying, though. 
I mean, why would she want her ex-boyfriend or ex-husband into the uh, in the apartment unless she wanted to bang the fuck out of him? You think so? Oh, yeah. definitely. All the time, every single time that's happened. All right. Every time. <laughs> I agree with her. Every time. And every time she you could tell- feel, but it could also be a power thing where it's like he's so pathetic that he has nowhere to live. So sure, you can live with me, and I'm gonna bang my fucking yeah, husband. It could be really fucking loud. It could be that. That's way. what she's saying to her husband. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's, exactly. that's like, but what if it was this? Yeah, but you wouldn't want to fuck him someone s- that's that pathetic. I'd be like, you're disgusting. You're like a fucking piece of dirt. You'd still fuck him. Yeah. I mean, but I'd fuck a piece of dirt. I'm a different kind of woman. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Mark, let's continue on. Well, Hill wanted to leave the uh, rodeo early, and she wanted to stay. Uh, when they got home, the argument continued. Salinas' ex-husband tried to separate the two, and when both men went to hold her down, that's when she allegedly bit her husband in the penis. Wait a minute. Whoa. Bite the X in the penis. Wait, yeah. why was the dick out? I mean, I think she just bit it through the pants. No way. Jeans? Oh. No way. I, I agree <laughs> with you on that. I don't know, man. If you're tight angry jeans, enough. And tight jeans at a rodeo. You gotta wear tight jeans yeah, to a rodeo. Yeah, but that makes it harder to bite. You gotta, like, get point. the jean around. You know, a lot of cowboys, as soon as they get home, they just straight up unbuckle. Oh, yeah, I've heard that about cowboys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Do a, do un, undo the belt buckle. You know that belt buckle. It gets up on your fat. Sure, yeah. It's really yeah. big. A yeah, lot of yeah, time. Yeah, if they're yeah. rodeo champions, then it's huge. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I know a lot of rodeo. So champions. you gotta let that buckle down a little bit. Let his defenses down. Mm-hmm. That's why you gotta keep that buckle buckled. Get that dick bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, but <laughs> the husband says he's already made up with her, saying it's just what they normally do. Uh. He, <laughs> he said, "I have assaulted her before in arguments." Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, awesome. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. We work it out. Let's just say I had it coming. Wait, I, wait. <laughs> I think they were double teaming her, and then she got mad about it or something, and she bit the mm. husband, and then they didn't want to really say what it was. Yeah. That's a good point. It's possible it was uh, this man moved in upon the request of this other fella. What if they just wanted a rotisserie a whole bunch of times? They were both holding her down. Yeah. Yeah. No. yeah, yeah I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah, Dick was definitely in her mouth. Yeah, the man was probably from Cox behind. out. Yeah, yeah, definitely. No, they were fucking her. Didn't yeah. happen through the jeans, man. You know what I probably happened? He probably took it out and put it in her butt and she Ex- bit down. That's what I'm just... Bit down with her butt teeth. Yep. You're a good yeah. detective, Ed. <laughs> You're a good detective. That's oh, what she saying. bit down. Okay, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. they were giving her the Eiffel Tower. Something you know, like she that. was scared. Yeah. Bit yeah. down out of fear. Guy lost part of his peepee. You don't hear a lot of stories about men biting women's pussies. No. You know, a lot of the dick bite, but no woman... Uh, has any man ever bitten another woman's pussy? I'm I did. sure. I did my first time. You did? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I thought that's what, I thought the term was uh, eating a girl out, so I thought that's what you had to do. You went in there with a with a knife and uh, spoon or a no, knife just and fork? down, just kind of hold of it, and just sort of ate, just sort of like bit at it. <laughs> <laughs> she was <laughs> terrified. <laughs> and what was her reaction when you literally bit her pussy? Uh, Lisa Scatol. Uh, she screamed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah <a> little... <laughs> Uh, Did it continue on afterwards, or was she just like over it? I don't remember how it ended. It's not like I magically learned, right? <laughs> like, do she it. had you to have told learned before. Uh, uh-uh, no, I didn't really have it any access yeah. to it. We saw yeah. a little bit, but not really. No, yeah, not really. I mean, yeah, we we just saw a couple. Mostly the vagina is very tough. See, I had seen plenty of porn before I had my first yeah, uh, me too. relation. Oh, okay. Yeah. You were also Absolutely. really old. Yeah, I was 19. <laughs> 19 when I lost it. No, oh, really? And I fought her tooth and nail, but man, she got it out of me. <laughs> <laughs> it was a tough night. I was just like, I don't think. And she was just, but she was a dancer. So. She was a dancer. That's amazing. Hot, sweaty love in Florida, man. So you fucked the chick after you bit her pussy? Uh, no, I didn't have sex with her. She wouldn't tell me she loved me. So, what? That's why you didn't fuck her? What is wrong with you? I was a virgin. You were a virgin and you wanted to find love first. Yeah, I was, wanted the, I was waiting for the right girl. All she right. Oh. Say she loved me, Tell so me about out. your mother. <laughs> she was my first. Uh oh. I'm going to have her compare. <laughs> that's incredible. But she wanted you to fuck her. Yeah, yeah. She was one of the, she, had, she had done it a bunch before. Yeah, in all, in all the holes. Yeah, I was really into her, too. Looking back, it was sort of dumb. It would have been fine. Yeah. To fuck her, yeah, you should have liked her. her for like six months. Yeah, I'm sure there was men that plenty of men that just beat the shit out of her, like yeah. football team and stuff like that. Oh yeah, she loved fucking. <laughs> yeah. Question: Can yeah. I can I find her on Facebook? 
I, yeah, <laughs> maybe. All right, what's her name? Uh, no, everyone's gonna find her. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. We don't need to do That's that. That's the we worst. Like, that. <laughs> That's not good. Name. Forget about the microphone for your face. <laughs> but I, I would assume at this point, are you've gotten much better with the oral sex? Women's vaginas love when your mouth is on them now. Man, I just keep biting. <laughs> <laughs> They're waiting for that right girl, so, uh, who just is into it. Have you ever been bitten, Jackie? No. In the in the vagina. No. Oh, you haven't lived till you've been bitten. I guess yeah. not. <laughs> well, you will be tonight when Ari takes you home. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm about to bite the shit the... out of your puss. Yeah, <laughs> I want. I be like, cud me, baby. That was like a yeah, euphemism for chew something. Yeah, on my cud. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever bit a penis or just a man, a penis, whatever? Well, yeah, because yeah, I told you I read that in Cosmo. I I read this. Tip that, y- like, use your teeth. Like, they think they don't want it, like, no. during a blowjob, but they do. So I did, and he was me, like, don't. What are you doing? Yeah, and I was no. like, I read about it in Cosmo. He's like, Never do anything you read at Cosmo, ever. And <laughs> he's right, because now, as an adult, like, I was young yeah, at the time. Zero tooth is the best. Yeah, yeah. no, no yeah. tooth. That's why you cover your teeth with yeah. your gum like you're an old woman. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. That's what girls with big mouths are the best. They can, you know, make a little suction. Yeah, you make a suction, but that's why I have like permanent indents up on the top, <laughs> up under my lip. What's Yo! up, hey, what's up, what's up Damien? How you doing, We're buddy? just talking about uh, yeah. yeah. Please sit. We're just talking about men and women and, and biting of genitals. And wow. I just had a sexual situation happen recently. Where All right, man. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. By the way, let's uh, let's all welcome Damien Lemon to the hey, 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 hey. All right, what's good? What's going on, with y'all? Well, I have a massive bruise on my arm, and you saw it, Ed. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. You got a huge, you got a huge bruise. What happened? She just bit me violently during the uh, act of sweet, sweet Ben intercourse, which is a violent thing that no. Maybe you were smothering her. Maybe it was like she was she couldn't breathe. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Sometimes so I confuse a lady for a victim who's trying to get away. <laughs> I think biting is fine, though. You just have to temper it. You just can't bite too hard. Right. You can't leave a mark. Yeah. Bite. I've done. A, I have to say, actually, I got out my. I've I've done a little choo choo on the on the old clit. It's fine. They're you like have? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, damn. Well, the no, fluid. Fluid. It's light. That it's light. Terrible. No, no, it's that's just a little. Awful. It's like. Uh, 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 no, it's that's like not. <laughs> that's disgusting. Don't do that so light, anymore. Some dig it. Some light. I was asked. I was asked to do okay, it. A woman asked, asked you to put those disgusting light, yes. teeth on her clitoris. Absolutely. I was. I was fucking. Yeah. We're talking about a dirty hole. Yeah. Terrible. Screaming in my head. A clitoris is probably cauliflower flower with like a fucking wrestler you got a whole <laughs> nasty cartilage cr- clitoris <laughs> exactly there was a lot going on there it was a full Did vagina it? yeah i'm sure i hope it was a full vagina <laughs> not some like <laughs> seven-year-olds um damien you ever get your dick uh, uh bit or anything like that it's all based on by the way a news story where yeah, uh chick, a... yeah it bit a dude's dick Bit it off? They bit the dick off? No, 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 no. That's boy from a double team. Oh, wow. No, she bit it because he wanted to leave the rodeo early and she didn't. That's the yeah. yo, rodeo is euphemism. Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. I've had my dick bit a little bit. Nothing crazy, but you know, enough to be enough to be like, whoa, whoa, whoa you know. But sometimes sometimes a little slight pressure on it is not too bad. See, that's what Cosmo says, but I heard yeah. that that's not the truth after I... I don't like... I mean, I don't want yeah. any of it. A little mm. pressure's not bad. It's the pressure. dragging. Oh, yeah. The, yeah. Mm. the dragging's what's... Depends uh, really on bad. how sharp sure. the tooth are. The teeth are. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's true. <laughs> if you're using teeth as a placeholder, so like, you can like... <laughs> Move wow. your legs on the shaft. That's okay. I wish y'all you could see spray. what he was doing right there. That, yeah. was, that was real right there. <laughs> very, very good. Like an inchworm. <laughs> so what's happening with this woman who bit this man's penis? Uh, well, she just got called uh, on 911. I don't think they're pressing charges or anything okay. like that. But, you know, it was all a full police report. And, of course, this man talked to the local uh, news agencies because this story comes from CBS 13, Sacramento. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, you can see a... Uh, a little bit of the guy right here. Little the guy rodeo. There. Yeah. What did I see? The, what's the going on with the rodeo? I just see some rodeo yeah, footage. Yeah, it says rodeo they, they refusal. Rodeo. Did you do oh. it? Oh. And she didn't want to leave. That's this is CBS. Yeah. Th- this oh, is the guy right is. here. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is he looks haunted. This is after he's been bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, after yeah. he's been bit. Oh, he just looks like some bum fuck. Yeah, well, if, I mean, they, they got into a fight at a rodeo. He's yeah, not going to look like right. an aristocrat. He's not the great Gatsby. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> rodeos are do, fine. Well, right? the rodeos are great. Rodeos are awesome. Have you guys ever been to a rodeo? <laughs> I love, the news, he didn't even press charges. 
This is slow in, ass in, news day. Yeah. Sacramento's, <laughs> yeah. Sacramento's a nice place, apparently. Tons of meth. Tons of it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That could be what it is. So that's the only story that gets out. I saw a dude, uh, he was like sitting on an embankment. So it was like his legs were below where his waist was, mm-hmm. and he was peeing in like an like a sort of an oval, <laughs> uh-huh. and then he was running his hands through the pee stream, yeah. like like yeah. it was the a worst. candle, and he couldn't get wet if he went fast enough. Yeah. <laughs> just sounds like a terrible laser light show. Yeah, and his buddy was next to him, just watching it, just like staring at Quicker. it. Quicker, his was there. <laughs> No, I think you got wet that time. Try it again. Yeah, see, I don't think that was bad. I think that guy was just training. Yeah. <laughs> He's the world's greatest ninja now. You can't even piss on him. He's very, very fast. Uh, if you'll uh, notice over here on the screen, this is the news report. Uh, Anthony Hill is the only man who elected to talk to uh, the reporters. Who's that, the, the if you'll ex- see, there are two yeah. people blurred out on each side of him, which I will imagine would be the, uh, the wife and sure. the ex-husband. Why did he alone choose to talk? Did this he is... call the news? He did. He did <laughs> say, like, <laughs> my dick got bit. Get down here. I got a story for you. And they did. <laughs> That's the thing. He called a press conference. Can you just call something and then they'll just show up and write about it? <laughs> this is great. I mean, Danny, it makes you want to go out there, right, as a yeah. comic. Like, shit, I can get a crowd. I can build a fan base. <laughs> <laughs> stories. Yeah. So what's up? I mean, would you call would you call a press conference if your dick just got bit? I feel like it's a humiliating thing to have nah, happen to yourself. Nah, that's that's uh. I mean, maybe he's not had too much dick activity. Maybe that was what it was. <laughs> so indirectly, he was letting people know, you know, there's been a woman that's had my dick in her mouth. I just wanna, <laughs> it didn't go the way I thought it would, but I just need to let you know for the record. <laughs> uh-huh. It is definitely proof. We have it on, on, in a police report and on film. A woman has had his dick in her mouth. It was violent and disgusting. Um, All right, Marcus, what's up? (laughs) Police in Philadelphia are hoping that video of a man shooting up a strip club with an AK-47 over a DJ's song selection will lead to his arrest. (laughs) What were the songs? It doesn't say what the songs are, Uh, although it does say that it was his favorite song. Total Uh. Eclipse of the Heart. (laughs) I would shoot someone up because of Total Eclipse of the Heart. If they did or did not play it. Um, no, no, if they like, did play. if they yeah. did play, oh, he, yeah. he, he, yeah. he wouldn't play the song. Yeah, the strip I club to. DJ, the guy requested that he play his favorite song for a stripper to dance to. Yeah. The strip club DJ didn't play it. The guy comes back in with an AK 47 and just AK-47. sprays. See, this is what I'm guessing. Get... He wanted him to play, uh, Let's Go Out to the Movies. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's go out to the movies. <laughs> I would Was actually... it his birthday? Does Does it not it's say, say, if it's his birthday, then he was in the right. <laughs> I think. I think he tipped him. I think he gave him twenty uh, bucks. Yes, investigators oh, yeah. said that twenty-one-year-old Henry Pettigrew mm. was being sought for the May 11th shooting at Purple Orchid Gentlemen's Club. Sounds like a nice place. Pettigrew. Yeah. Pettigrew. Here's a, a picture. I actually of the, think here is uh, Henry oh, Pet- he's Pettigrew. So young. Right here. Right. There. He's twenty-one. Twenty-one. Yeah. Purple Orchid is the most disgusting name I've ever heard. You never for a strip want your club. orchid it to be sounds purple. Like a, yeah, it sounds like a bloody pussy. It does sound like a bloody pussy. Or yeah. like a beat up pussy. Yeah, 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 yeah. You get nailed. Yeah, you got punched. Asshole with a <laughs> bunch of blood blisters on it. That's what I thought. Oh, oh God, God, really? Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever yeah. Purple Orchid? Yeah, have you guys or- ever yeah. seen a woman with a blood blister before? Like after getting a bikini yeah. wax? No. no. I don't want this to see one girl's dancer. Like she, she was like, "Have you ever gotten a bikini?" This is like, we were in high school. Has we've ever gotten one? I was like, "No." She was no, stripping while you were not. in high school. He what? She was stripping while you guys were in high no, school. No, she was getting school. bikini wax. No, like oh. a dancer, like an actual dancer. dancer. Like they a, exist. Yeah, like a ballet like a dancer. dancer. Yeah. Like with clothes on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Who the yeah, yeah, fuck no, would no, ever pay to see that? Oh, oh, I really didn't get it either. Oh yeah, no, she's a ballet dancer. So she had to get it shaved because, like, you know, the leotards come up high. She's like, "You want to?" She's like, "You just knows I've been walking funny for the past few days." It was like. Uh, no. And she's like, you want to see something really disgusting? I was like, yeah. And she, <laughs> Can I ask, were you guys smoking cigarettes in the bathroom of the high school? No, we were smoking cigarettes at like 2 o'clock in the morning when her parents were asleep, okay. like out by the pool. Gotcha, though. yeah, yeah, yeah. And so she <laughs> lifted up her underwear and showed me, and like right in like the crease, like right like where the labias are, right. um, was this huge blood blister that was probably like 
the size of the palm showing of her, my hand. Showing and you were palm, like, have yeah. you been with Ari? Wait, Did on the wall? On the right in the labia? Like in here, like from the wow. lip. Where you peel it to, back? Like from the lip where you peel it back to like the <laughs> crest of the top of her leg. Wow. It was a huge wow. blood buster because they had really? ripped it off wrong. So it was just a big oozing pus wound. Oh, oh wow. wow. And you can get them. They're actually something you get often if you get bikini waxes and they don't know how to do it correctly. Okay. Oh. So be careful of that if you're ever going down on a woman because it will pop and it will ooze pus you think all she's down a her leg. Yeah, no, it's Whoa! not. It's the yeah, worst squirter of all, all time. All I did was bite it. Yeah. <laughs> I would like to hear the two different conversations where the guy was like, it was amazing. She came all over my mouth and she's like, it was awful. He popped my blood blister. I don't think I he's ever going to talk to me again. in his mouth. <laughs> pus oh, That's why you always start with the lights on. Yeah, you gotta see it. Uh, you gotta yeah. see it. That's the thing. The you girls that Ed and I bring bugs. home, we always have to check for blisters first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you check must. for all kinds of stuff. Yeah, I got you a special really flashlight that? for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. By the yeah. way, you cannot oh. get AIDS from pus. Oh, oh great to know. Cool. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, that's yeah. great. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Only <laughs> thank you. <laughs> That's nice surprisingly to know. interesting, yeah. isn't it? I yeah, thought I any so. kind of bodily fluid you could get it from. No nope. tears. I thought we cured. We didn't cure AIDS yet. Nah. No. I barely hear anything about it anymore. We're close. You got oh, some money. You're doing really good with HIV, money. though. There's an AIDS oh, okay. cure. You yeah. got a couple of dollars. Magic don't got AIDS. I'm, no, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, no, he's Magic fat. don't got AIDS. So. No, 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 he's, he's, he's hanging out in my neighborhood doing advertisement for uh, prepaid credit cards. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's fine. He's good. Yeah. He's, he's good. on top of the world, so hey, You know what say. I like? Uh, is that Pettigrew? What is his name? A Henry Pettigrew. Henry Pettigrew. He was at 21. You're doing pretty well if you can afford an AK-47. He is. And a banana clip. Yeah. Ooh. Thorough. He's I had a Saturday. Did he kill anybody? Uh, no, but he did. Well, here's what happened. Police said that bouncers at the club tried to remove him after he became angry because the DJ would not play his favorite song. Pettigrew and an accomplice then assaulted a customer who they mistook for one of the bouncers. When the customer ran to the parking lot and tried to flee in, the, in an SUV, Pettigrew grabbed an AK-47 and began firing at the vehicle. What? The customer was hit above his right hip and was expected to recover. Hey. The video then showed Pettigrew falling, apparently due to intoxication, as he oh. tried to run back inside the strip club. The suspect fired several rounds in the direction of the DJ. The DJ could be seen ducking for cover as a bullet struck the mirror behind him where his head had been. Oh! oh. Good shot. Good shot. Yeah, he's Hell good yeah. at it. I, I want to know what the song it. was, though. That's what I know. I know. I know. Why I lead it like that? I want to know what the song was. Come on. It's the best bad. advertisement be. for a song. Exactly. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. People are shooting up clubs to hear my fucking song. Shoot a I bunch think of two people. Chain, yeah, two chains was probably involved. Damn. Ed, what song would you do it for? What song would you shoot up a club if they wouldn't play? This is how we do yeah. it. Yeah. Really? Oh, <laughs> what? Hey. That? Hey. This is how we do it. Whoa. Hey. Yeah, and they'd probably be I'm like, they'd probably upset. Be like, yeah, they'd be like, dude, no, we just played that like five songs ago. And you're like, okay, oh, shoot, shoot the fuck out of this place then. <laughs> that was You've amazing, by the way. Your voice is sharp, Eddie. Yeah, Ed, you that should be nice. like a lounge nice. singer. Yeah, 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 yeah. You learn, you learn sentences that you can do, you know? <laughs> I can tell you love that song, though, because you oh, definitely yeah. sang that shit. With yeah, there yeah. was soul in it. That's real. That was real love. <laughs> Damien, have you ever, uh, uh, ever been involved in a shooting situation? Nah, nothing crazy. Shot a gun in the air, nothing crazy. Yeah, I've never been on the other stuff. side of a, a gun, though. Like, Why did you shoot at... the gun in the air? Just because, you know, you just wanted to shoot. For fun, it. it wasn't a warning shot or anything. No, it wasn't a warning shot. But the shot. bullets just... didn't come down and hurt anybody? They didn't hurt me. They Ooh. were good enough. Yeah, they were good enough. I think that's fine. We're good enough. <laughs> yeah, nobody got hurt. bad. Uh -huh. So do you just shut down the strip club, or do you just continue on performing after the AK-47 <laughs> fellow runs through? You shut it down, you bring it back for the 2 o'clock buffet the next day. Oh, okay. That shut it sense. down? That's nah, too bad, man. Just for the Sad. night. Yeah. I was at a strip club on Saturday called Pumps, and I was all alone. I was the only man in yeah. there. Yeah. And it uh, was amazing. Pumps ben was at yes, Pumps for three hero. hours it was, alone. It was, not, it was not Saturday. It was 3 o'clock on Friday. Well, yeah. Whatever. It was the only dude in Pumps? Yes. How many women? Four. And, and were they all <laughs> pregnant or just three out of the four? Uh, no. Uh, I don't know how uh, they were after I left, but they were very <laughs> Yeah, right. Attractive. You couldn't impregnate a stick. Think, well, no, you can't. <laughs> a stick is made of wood. No, they're easy. <laughs> Everybody knows they're fucking easy. <laughs> no. But no, it Good was. Point. Don't it, be on his side, Damien. <laughs> well, thank you, Damien. Thank you, Damien, for choosing the good side. Every now and again, people come to my area. 
Um, but no, it was amazing. I had 160 bucks with me, and I just went there, and I spent all of that money on wow. four girls, and uh, they were just around me. Why? Because they were amazing. What is wrong What'd with you? you? Wow. What's that? What'd you get? Anything? Perks? I got a lap dance. I got a boat. Well, this is the thing. I walked in. I'm alone. So I said, can you guys put CNN on the TV? What? So they put CNN on the TV. <laughs> this is the truth. You're so a I went freak. In, I went in the truth. I asked, I asked to put CNN on the I TV. I want to hear about Oklahoma while I get my dick rode by a stranger. <laughs> And was, was the amazing. sound on? Uh, no, no. It was, okay, oh, they're playing music, this strip playing. music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't have to shoot up the place. They played everything I wanted to hear. Um, <laughs> but it was actually very funny. They censored this one song that was the 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 uh, chorus was "Sit on my dick," but they they censored "Sit on they they censored the word "dick" oh, uh, wow. as this stripper was sitting on my dick, oh. which I thought was very very bizarre. <laughs> But it was phenomenal. I, it was my favorite strip club experience of all time, and I just gave them ones like once every like you know two minutes. You just always just like give them once, and uh, you saw them like make out and suck on each other's titties and things. Why would sure. you spend one hundred sixty dollars on that? I've been out in Williamsburg with a lot of girls and spent a lot of money like that, and they're mm. disgusting women. And who they don't... cares? At least you get to fuck them. No. Hey, Bing, can I send? Uh, can I read the uh, series of text messages that you sent me? Sure. Uh oh. <laughs> Here's the first one. This is at uh. Well, I. Apologize, it wasn't three. It was four forty-seven p.m. on That's Friday. That's right, classy. Yeah, four forty-seven p.m. Yeah, the post morning. Yeah. yeah, this stripper is a serial killer. Oh yeah, she was. Tried to mur- murder her roommate with mouse poison. That was her whole story. She wanted to kill. While her she was giving you a lap dance, she's telling yeah, you yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, was she's working open. the day shift at pumps. <laughs> it was great. And was about to kill her uh, with a hammer, but the girl never took a shower. She wanted to kill the woman in the shower with a hammer, but she's like, she just never took a shower. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. That was Layla. I'm hard as steel, bro. <laughs> Layla. Beautiful woman. I'm hard as steel, bro. There's a big fat girl on stage now. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah, she really liked She it. was fat. <laughs> I'm the only one here, and I think these girls really like me. <laughs> oh, that's a sad delusion, they, Kissel. They, they that did. was such a no, sad I mean, delusion. You know, that was a joke, you know. But yeah, they did like me, though. Man, all I want for my birthday is a big booty hoe. That's two chains. Yeah, wow. Yeah. <laughs> that's two chains. What was the occasion? I, what was it your birthday? What was no, the occasion? Man, no, yeah, yeah. Got off of work early for Memorial Day weekend. That was that. the occasion. Oh, hey, that, that was uh, yeah, it was remembrance yeah. of veterans. Yeah. What's, yeah. Uh, that's right over here, right? Pumps is on Grand Street. Okay. Grand Street, and, and that was at five forty-seven p.m. And that was the last I heard from Ben. Oh, that day. Man, yeah, because he came back to the place a little after that, and uh, we hung out. But yeah, dry as a bone. Oh man. It was amazing stuff. <laughs> <sighs> All right. All right. Now it's time for, <laughs> for just, a segment just, from Old I mean, Man I, I don't shit. understand. You I just. just <laughs> what's wrong? I'm like weirdly I'm weirded out by that. Why? It's a Friday afternoon. Go for a walk. I did go for a walk. He walked to the bus. <laughs> he walked to the bus and it took him to pub. He walked to the ATM so... and back again. Yeah. Ari, do you experience a lot of strip club situations? I have. I'm not really that into them. No, they're not so it's good. The thing is, like that nudity. lap dance. I've gotten a lap dance. I just, I got it. I was forced to do it. You so. could never relate to what a lap dance no. feels like to us. Yeah. yeah. Wait, you were forced to get a lap dance? No, I by a dude. Yeah. Oh, okay. Some my, a friend bought uh. it for me when we were at a male strip club. Oh, what the oh. that's just so weird. Yes, cause the guy's yeah. just banging his dick and balls against your nose and shit, right? Because I was just weirded out because it's like just well, fuck guy, me. Then. Guy's like gay. I just. Yo, well, yeah, he's definitely gay, right. but he's still hard as a fucking rock and putting my hand up and down on his dick. Oh, oh wow. wow! All right, that's pretty close then. Yeah, it's okay. like still like, Might as well but like, fuck you. but that's the thing. Like, <laughs> for me, I guess it's just like a different dynamic where it's just like, all right, that's okay, fun. yeah, there's nothing here. Well, it's that's just how like, we that's feel. why I don't sleep with women because I need like, <laughs> no. there's not enough. This is boring. Right. But I guess dudes are different because oh, it's like yeah. riding on you, no. but you don't. I always felt like you really need like two grand to do a strip club right. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Exactly. If you're gonna fucking do it, then fucking do fuck it. Fuck I guess so. Get, get if, you, if you trying to live that strip club lifestyle, yeah, like, yeah. making rain and shit, I don't like strip clubs like that too often. I mean, I do a little bit, but it gets you frustrated. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. You dick hard, and you you really want to finish, and then you want to go beat the fucking shit out of somebody because you're hard. I'm not saying you're also finish. with your boys, which well, is always a weird well, thing. I, you know, I like, beat my dick in the strip club. I'm not gonna lie to you. I've, <laughs> I've been that cheap motherfucker that was like, my dick is a little too hot. I need to go unload this pistol. Just go. <laughs> I went to the bathroom and let, bathroom. let it go. Yeah, fuck it. Save a couple dollars. Then watch how little I spend then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, should be, we 
<laughs> with me. I got exactly the top. It's like, I, I got to go save, save somebody. somebody. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. Save somebody. I need to do that. It's nice to get paid to come, sort of. <laughs> Oh, All right, well, yeah. my segment was going to be, uh, you know, Damien, I wanted to talk to you about this yeah. before the show, but I wanted to see if you wanted to give some relationship advice to some people on the round table. So oh, we had right. some questions <laughs> and stuff, you know, we wanted to ask. Go ahead. I mean, I'll start with my own. I, I was, uh, all right, like... In a year from now, I'm supposed to move move in with my lady. I mm. talked to my brother today. He's like him and his lady. They're they're probably uh, he he moved in like for a year and a half, and then they're probably breaking things off. It's making me worried. Um, I, I'm gonna miss hanging out with my boys and shit like like living with Ben and yeah. um and we're with so uh, with Cap. Yeah, we're having so much fun. We're yeah. getting drunk. The floor is covered in nachos. You know, diarrhea things like that. yeah things mm-hmm. like that. So uh, I don't know what sh- should I be afraid? Should I do this? You know, should I go ahead with it? I got a year with her still too. Yeah, to I'm make saying sure. you put up. Wait, wait, wait. Would you funny? You, you set it up as if you're about to get married to her. You said in a year you're yeah. gonna move in. in a yeah. Year. So you actually wow. set a date. You were I like, yo, we're gonna set a time. date for me to <laughs> share that's rent. With the you. lease goes up. How long our you lease her? goes up? Yeah, in how long you been together? That's a good point. How long you been together? Almost two years. So by next year it'll be three years. No, next year you'll just like know her as friends. <laughs> you guys just be roommates together. Yeah. So you think it's over? Yeah, a full year. That's a long time for it to last. <laughs> How long is it's long already lasted like... two years. Yeah, yeah. Are you? What, I mean, so what's the what's the, the be hesitation? What you thinking? Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I'm just like afraid my my, uh, my essence will be. How long uh, do you spend? What? How often do you hang out with her? She now? lives in Queens, so we hang out like half the week together. Nice. So you stay over there a couple days a week. I stay over there. She comes over, oh, yeah, and then we got like three days of like buffer days though that we yeah. don't hang out, and that's kind of I kind of fucking that. raw. You know, getting raw in or what? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's good. That's good. If you don't get her pregnant within this year, because they're all already fucking raw and shit. And yeah, you, yeah. You got a destination to when you go like move that in. Term. Yeah. yeah, fucking raw. I get it. Yeah, yeah it feels brazen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're, you're enjoying yourself. No, I think it'll be all right. I mean, worst comes to worst, you move out. Fuck all it. right, fuck it. Yeah, uh, Ed, what? Jackie, relationship advice. Oh, uh, how can I help you? Um, sure. <laughs> uh, all right, I do have a little actually. Okay. I, it's something I've been thinking about. I've been talking to this chick, yeah. really sweet girl, cool as fuck. Uh-huh. Loves to drink, real cool. Not the hottest chick in the world, but Ooh. really, really yeah. cool, really, really sweet. Yeah, I think I'm too much of a monster, and I'm just gonna fucking ruin it. Be a, be a maniac. What do you mean? What do you, you I don't trust myself. No, no, no. I see. I don't want to start hooking up with her because I know she'll like me. She's a little younger than me. See, I don't want to like. See motherfucker. I know she'll love me. <laughs> <laughs> Not the hottest exactly. chick, but she'll love me. Well, he's broke. Yeah. He, he well, recently so broke much. a heart. He recently broke oh, a heart. Oh, okay. So you wounded. You yeah, wounded so women I feel out there. Like, I feel like I'm gonna be a monster again. What do you mean, be a monster? Well, he's, what do you I'm mean? saying he recently broke, broke another chick's heart. heart. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, what yeah, is yeah. the monster thing? You, you fucked in. He's a bad and, person. Was it what she? What happened? <laughs> you ain't giving her the relationship. What? How did you? You know, you destroy just, someone. What's the monster? Push? You, know, you just end up being it's just drinking all the time, not being polite. You uh, know, you know, just being a fucking not being po- banging dirty chicks and uh, uh, being a monster. Yeah, just a general <laughs> piece of shit monster, which is, is, I think is where so, I'm at oh, right now. So she now. wants a relationship, is what you're telling me. I don't know. I don't know anything about that. So what's I'm the saying. question? I'm scared to even talk to her. Because you're gonna hurt you, her so you bad. Scared you're gonna I'm, hurt you like this girl. Yeah. Should he pursue the girl? Move on, nah. Because you said she ain't even attractive. So go be a monster to something that gets your dick hard. Yeah, right. <laughs> and just let her be your homie. As long as y'all cool, then that's cool. Then yeah, you won't yeah, be yeah, a monster right? to your home girl. That's a good point. Especially if you don't fuck her. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, thank you, then. Awesome. All right, I'm, I'm on a roll. Hell Let's yeah. Absolutely. Let's keep doing this. Harvey, tell me something. Open up, man. Yeah, Harvey, you got something? <laughs> um, yeah, well, it's been a long time since I've had a relationship. Yeah. Um, I just end up, uh, you know, just going light, light relationships, and, and I'm pretty happy about that. You're living the dream, Ari. I mean, okay. <laughs> yeah. So do you, do you think I should try to let some girl control me? <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, I, think I think you should enjoy your independence, brother. You should just live that Ooh, life. Go. All right, keep I'm good with that. Keep fucking with no regard. I'm thinking of getting a vasectomy for real. Wow, Spares, you got kids? No, you just don't want any. Yeah, you don't like wearing condoms. I don't. Uh, you can does un- someone? No, I, I, I can't. I can't. No, I, I, hate it. Fuck no, I, I, I can't, but I hate sometimes. it. Dan, you only wear Jackie. condoms, though? We'll get into that. 
Jack. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I've been with my man for like six years. Wow. Congratulations. We are going to our first wedding together wow. in a few weeks. I can't believe yeah. you haven't been to a wedding. Six yeah, years six you've been years. together. Well, we got together young, and now, like, well, we're and we're friends with mostly comedians that yeah. none of us get fucking married. So we're going to, I've been to weddings, he's been to weddings, but never together. What do you suggest I do? To make him not like when I'm crying at the wedding, mm-hmm. which I'm gonna do because I'm emotional, mm-hmm. to be for me to show him like I don't want you to propose right now. Okay. Don't All think right. that I want this. I just love love, and this mm. is beautiful. Keep it 100. That's what a dude really wants to hear. <laughs> yeah, because that's what you that's what you need to know going in. Like, listen, we about to see some things. You just say, listen, these people love how they love. <laughs> <laughs> we could just be at independent parties. Yeah. I may be overwhelmed emotionally, but that doesn't call for you to step in and do anything drastic. <laughs> <laughs> now, do I, like I bring that. in the fact that my mother, I know for a fact, because he told me, but she hasn't been talking to me about it, has been emailing him, offering him, because she's got a bunch of gemstones, offering Ooh. him diamonds for him to make uh. a... A well, let me ask you this, Jack. Of... If that man did get on his knee and ask to to marry you, what would you say? I'd say yes. All right, well, oh, then fuck oh, it. Then you yeah. good. But that's terrifying. I don't know. <laughs> I, well, I know one thing. He's not going to propose to you at someone else's wedding. That would be the tackiest that shit ever. That would be the tackiest yeah, shit man. ever. Hold on. Hold on in the front. I just wanted to say something to my I wife. I had to say one thing right <laughs> here. Yeah, that would, that no, would be what if, no, but what if instead of as the priest starts, you know, with those two people, you're sitting there and be like, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we'll gather here today. For a surprise wedding, and then Ooh. those two people leave, and then your boyfriend Ooh. gets up. And I says, would shoot up me? everyone at the wedding with an AK-47. If my mother came out, I'd be like, "No, I'm out." It's kind of fun. Just be cool, though. That's why he did it straight up. Yeah, he. Yeah. Be cool. All right. Yeah, I'm fucking raw. I mean, I can't even begin this because. Damien have been looking for answers for a long time. I got him here, bro. And um, I bet Damien has every fucking game played under every title and category of fucking. He's got right? nothing on the BK broiler. I'll tell you, I fucked a lot of chicks. And uh, well, this is the thing. Wait, that's what you call yourself? Tons of them home, the man. Oh, God, no, it doesn't matter. That's it's a cheeseburger. That's no, oh, <laughs> let's all talk about fat jokes and how Nobody I am fat. You're making some cheeseburger. No, now let's blame me for it. Classic, classic. Thank you, friends. Go ahead, um, no, so I'm banging a bunch of different kind of girls and stuff, and I'm on to a new batch now because I go in threes. Batches. I'm, I'm done it. with these threes. Yeah. I'm done with these. Uh, but now I got. They all new- look the same, by the way. I see them. No, so I'm, I'm on a new. I'm on a new home. series. Please, different color hair. No, they're all going to be fat? brunettes. Yeah, no, all brunettes, all tall, all with like bangs, all like same look. Look the same. Nice I can't titties, tell them perfect. Though, literally. Yeah, pretty. Yeah, actually, right, I'm shocked and amazed by many of the women bring Ben yeah, brings out. Consistent. That's can't correct. Be shocked anymore. But what I'm saying <laughs> to you, Damien, is I'm looking for love. Yeah. And I don't exactly know because I'm I'm a relationship man in theory. I I do very well with relationships, so I just went with a different. I, I've just been in like three year relationships, two year relationships, and now I'm just banging a bunch of different chicks. But I want another relationship, and I'm having a difficult time snapping this multiple pussy mm. scenario because yeah. like you get accustomed to it but I'm I'm fairly miserable yeah, yeah I'm I drinking say. a lot vodka's happy yeah Sobieski vodka that company made a lot of money <laughs> because of me but so I want one girl will make you happy one girl could be because I need to because I, I got an ADHD brain so I all these girls stress me out they make me uh, exhausted and I come in all of them and all those things and it's wonderful but I, I, but I do want to find that one girl, though. But how do you transition the mind back to a single pussy, an orientated single pussy brain? See, I can tell you that you're not ready, though. You know what I mean? I can tell you. Because first of all, you, you're too excited about all these multiple pussy. You're calling them batches. You're loving it. <laughs> Ooh, you're talking right. about, you know, you you love the stats that you're doing. You love that you're living like a hero a little bit. I'm John Starks right now. It feels good. It 1996. Feels good. It's a lot Eastern of, Conference Championship. A lot of random vagina. Pussy. Loving it. Loving yes. it. Because what you're doing is you're not fucking these women. You're fucking your ego. You understand? Ooh. You know what I mean? Oh, he's good. Oh, he's I, good. I, I, I am. I am. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? You're up your ego. You mm-hmm. would fuck your ego if you could, but you can't. So you got to go through these women's vaginas. Mm-hmm. You understand? So you don't really see these women for anything more than a conquest. Which is cool because you still a conquistador. You know what I mean? Oh, well, please. <laughs> but Never call me Hispanic you, again, though. Please. Hey, <laughs> so sorry. I'm Didn't so sorry, that. man. <laughs> I think once you cool with just not telling anybody that you fucking, because Holden is your roommate or whatever, I'm sure you like, yeah, I'm pulling. You know, I, like, I know you like to parade them through. You know what I'm saying? I'm mm-hmm. come look at me again. And I'm in my pajamas playing video yeah, games. Yeah, he's like your biggest fan. Lady, you know, like, yeah. So when he moves out, maybe at that point you may get serious because then you won't have somebody there that's like, damn, again, Ben? You know what I mean? Right, right, right. You won't have that. And then you might have somebody you could just chill out with. But until then. That's possible. Okay, that's very nice. But no, you're true. I I, I want one more. I want one sooner uh, than, than in a year. But I will say that's what happened. I was wronged by a woman. Yeah. yeah, and then I felt like I needed to fuck all the girls uh, to get back at that one yeah, woman. That's what's up. She's dating a friend of mine. Sensei. But I will say that uh, that's a good point, though. Well, all right, Damien. Marcus, you got you got any questions for Damien? No, I'm just judging today. There all right, go. what do you want? Marcus, who, who what's got your the question? Best Marcus, give a question. I don't have a question. All right. <laughs> I have a question. How come, Damien, how come Damien? How come you know so much about relationship stuff? I'm just one of those guys. No, nah, li- I'm in a relationship. <laughs> I think it's I'm, I'm in a relationship man. with one that we can say that, but two, I'm also talking out, <laughs> talking out my ass right now. It just sounds <laughs> dope. It's all about the measure of conviction. Oh. You say it, and it, it feels like confident. an authority. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about my ass for uh, you. All right, Marcus. I'm going to ask you three guys right now because I think it's between uh, Ben and Jackie as to who got the best advice here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you guys have to vote. Uh, who thinks that Ben got the best? best I advice? think the name of this episode should be called "Fucking Your Ego." All right, mm. "Fucking Your Ego." Ben gets it. There you go. Wow. Hey, yeah. all right, everybody. What's you know, Damien's the real winner. I mean, Damien. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Thank you. Appreciate it. He was gonna be the winner. From all the right. Damien, you're all the right. Well, that's great. Right. I was so close to winning another fucking game, but then I didn't win the game, and I fucking yeah, all the fuck like, Fuck your ego, Ben. Fuck batches of women, Ben. Yeah. You're yeah. winning. Yeah. You were the Jack is a browser. The strip club and claim you want a girlfriend. BK batches. Broiler. <laughs> that's Ed Larson. That's Holder Minnelli. Thank you so much for being here, Ari. 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 Yeah. <laughs> you didn't say my name, but I'm Those here too. Gonna be I yeah, they're going to be great. And Damian Lemon. All right. BK Broiler. Yeah. Thanks for BK having Broiler, me. everybody. Everyone give it up to BK Hell Broiler. Yeah. yeah, that's nice. All right. Thank you. All right. Fuck some in hamburger uh, patty batches. Oh, right. <laughs> Jesus. No, no. I never had we sex done? in my life. I'm a nice man. Right. <laughs> hey, yo, check out thelemoninthemorning.com, please. Ooh. All right. Yeah, that's my, my. I got a radio show and shit. And do my you request, want check it out. I request please. that you don't do that. Don't, <laughs> don't check out d11inthemorning.com. Thanks again. I appreciate that, Ari. Thank you. That's Ari's website. Ari says, do not. <laughs> it's a point counterpoint. It's a morning radio.